guys, and welcome on back into the birds. Today we are discussing the Eden tier in Final Fantasy XIV and how much I have just been enjoying this tier. Ah, oh, I love it. So, let's just go ahead and get into the straight up points of which bosses I enjoyed the most and which ones I didn't. So, the first boss that I really enjoyed, which is no secret, um, it's Shiva. I really enjoyed Shiva. Uh, it's just a wonderful fight. It's a great end boss to the tier, and it was just, it was wonderful. I loved the different mechanics that were being played. I loved how if I, if you screwed up, and I usually don't like this type of mechanic, if you screw up a mechanic, you're probably going to kill the entire raid. I usually hate this type of mechanic, but this one, it was kind of fun to see. Um, I really liked it. I don't know. It's just, it was, it was a lot of enjoyment. I liked the aesthetics of it. I loved just the different types of mechanics there were. It was very innovative, it was different, different. Nothing seemed like it happened before from previous boss fights, and I really liked that. Square really went out of the box for this fight, and you can definitely tell. Um, and But yeah, it's just, I loved it. It was very enjoyable, it was very fun. Um, I think the only part I didn't really enjoy was Ad Phase. Ad phase is ad phase, you know, you, most fights usually have them, but it's just that ad phase, I didn't really like it at all. I didn't. Um, was not enjoyable at all. Uh, the second boss that I really enjoyed in this tier, overall tier, <laughs> not just this recent one, uh, was Titan. Titan was fun. Um, Titan was very enjoyable. I loved just how Titan was like this big metal hunk. You know, and like he had so much metal on him. He was just a big, ginormous uh, guy instead of just being like a just like a little like troll roll rock thing. I don't know. Uh, but Titan looked way more badass <laughs> this time around when you face him. Um, and it was really cool how he kind of like had an homage to Final Fantasy XV Titan, where he would just grow into this ginormous dude, and he would just start punching. The freaking platform. Loved it. Um, the platform's rising was also a really cool mechanic that I liked. Um, overall, it was just, it was fun. It was a great fight. It was a great end fight for the first tier. Um, and just that sh initial shock of seeing how Titan looked after your Warrior of Light reimagined him to that way. It was, it was so cool. I loved it. Um, the third one that I really liked was Leviathan. Leviathan was so much fun. Um, I don't know why I liked him so much. I just I really enjoyed Leviathan. It was it was an enjoyable fight. Um, the only part that I really wasn't too keen on was when you had to stack on someone and they would like the wave would push you back and forth depending on who was what. Like if you it was like if it was on you, someone had to go forward and push the, everyone else back, and then vice versa. They had to stand in those two groups and then the cones and stuff like that. I didn't like that part. That one was way too complicated. Um, not really complicated, but it was just, it was just boring. It was, it was sucked in the DPS. Um, because it's, it's like, it's like you need to be pushed back and knocked forward and just like, ugh. That part was the only part I didn't like. But the part where he would split you into like, the, he would like drop the arena and then he would, you'd have to be on two different parts and do the mechanics there. That one was pretty cool. Um, especially the very last phase of it was really cool. Where you had to like, someone had to go soak the, like drop the smoke or something, you had to go soak it and then, it was, it was a lot of fun. I loved life, and it was, it was kind of cool how I wore my life just gave him, like, two, two heads <laughs> instead of one. Like, he definitely was a sea serpent at that point. Um, the next one I really enjoyed was E7. Um, I actually really liked it. It, it didn't, it, in terms of, like, how the boss looked, it was just, like, it was just an orb with a bunch of sin eaters. But the actual fight was a lot of fun. I think the only part that I didn't like was where you had to go stand with the tanks for your colors and you had to um it, it one it always gave me a tough time and then you had to go soak the orbs of the dps and me being a ninja with having a point click teleport kind of option going on here i had to be the one to go to the back to get my orbs if i had to and i lose my uptime and it just it just sucked <laughs> every time i had to go do that my man just, it sucked. It felt horrible having to do that, but that's what I had to do. I swipe for being a ninja and having more mobility. Um, but overall, I really liked that fight. 
ad phase was really boring, but everything else was very cool. At first, I really hated the whole you had to like tell you had to like you go teleport a certain direction, and after the first, I, I had no idea how to figure out where the hell I was going. And then I finally learned there's an arrow debuff telling you exactly where you're going, <laughs> and I was like, oh! But I also raid with um, Catbot. And it also told me where I was going to go. So, at, th at that point, that mechanic didn't really matter. But, first figure it out, and you figure out, oh, there's a little arrow with the box of where you're going. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, but, overall, E7 was very fun for Melee, and I loved it. Um, the next one I really enjoyed was Romp. Um, him aesthetically was really cool. Um, I liked how he merged with Ixion, and my game was just, it's, a, it's half Ramu, half of Ixion, but, um, I know they were trying to make him into, like, a centaur, which is pretty cool, but I didn't like how they shaved his beard. Why did you have to touch the beard, Square? You shaved off the majority of what made him Ramu. Ugh, that was the only part. It's like, Ramu, come on, you need your beard back. Give him his beard. But, for the fight, ugh. It was so much fun. I loved it. Um, I think the part that I really liked was where you had to stand on a particular part of the platform to get hit, to get knocked back into your spear. Um, and you see that the little Ramu, little mini Ramu, just go flying across the, the arena. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I loved it. Um, it just sucked when you were melee, and Ramu jumps to either part of the platform, either end, and every time he jumped to my end, and I'm like right there, I could literally touch him, but I couldn't do my abilities, I couldn't even do anything, it just, it sucked when that happened, I absolutely hated it, like come on, you're telling me that I'm sitting right next to him, and I can't hit him with my abilities, that's not fair, but the range can't, how come I can't, he's right next to me, I can understand when he's halfway across the platform, but when he's like right next to me, I should be available to be in his hitbox to hit him, but hey, whatever, fine makes no sense to me whatsoever um the next boss that I, now we're in the part where i didn't like the bosses um e2 was my probably i wouldn't say it's my least favorite it had great ideas to it and it was a great innovative boss in terms of the time mechanics um and of course i mean it, it's pretty much a gaia boss fight <laughs> when we were facing gaia um with being controlled by a little void set. Um, so, <laughs> I have horrible memories of that part. With, at the very end of the boss fight, of the counter at 15%, where you have to go in and out and be in your little, uh, you know, uh, cardinal positions to, to, for the little, you know, slash. Um, and then you have to also dodge the stupid bats that'll give you a damage down. That was probably the most stressful part of the entire encounter, with that little bit. Everything else was fine. That part was absolutely horrendous. I hated it. I absolutely, absolutely hated it. It was horrible. Um, but the, uh, but as for the entirety of the fight, I, it wasn't, it was really cool themed. I liked how the whole time mechanic came into it, where, alright, she put out a, a, a mechanic, a staff mechanic, right? But it doesn't happen for another 30 seconds. So you're good for about 30 seconds to do everything you're trying to do with that t at that same time. I loved that part of it. It was a very innovative fight. And I really liked it. It's just that last part is horrible. <laughs> and it still gives me horrible flashbacks even after I cleared it. I hated it. <laughs> I really, really, really hated it. Um, but... For an overall fight, it wasn't as bad as the other ones that are going to be coming up, um, but Time Mechanic gave me a little bit higher on the list for this one. Um, number seven, Eden. Um, it was just boring. Uh, it's it's the first fight of the new tier. It's not going to be overly complicated. It's not going to be overly, you know, innovative in terms of mechanics. But it was just a boring fight. I just, I didn't like it. That, that's pretty much all I had to say about Eden. It was just boring. I mean, the transition phase between ad phase to, um, 
to the next phase was very cool, but everything else was just so boring. I, I don't know, it just wasn't really much of a remembrance in a fight. It was just, alright, it was easy, and then you cleared it, uh, we cleared it in a week. It was but, uh, well. Alright, on to the next one. <laughs> it was just boring. Eden is Eden. I guess that's all I have to say about her. Um, and the last one, number eight. This is mainly part of the fight that I just I didn't like it. I didn't see it on screen. It's uh, it's it's for Gruta. I did not like the fight. It's cool in theme, and it's I love like the concept of it, and the mechanics in terms of like how they are aren't bad. It's just this was probably my least favorite fight because I just I don't enjoy it. It's it's horrible for melee. Um. I know some people probably get around it and it's fine. I just, I can't stand it for melee. That's really all it is to it. It's, it's not fun for me. I just, I, I just, I, I don't like it. It was not fun. I hated it. I, I still don't like re-clearing it. Um, even after we cleared it, but I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I just really don't. It's probably my least favorite boss fight in the history of Final Fantasy. But I love the theme of it. I liked how Ifrit and Garuda, you know, merged together. It was pretty cool in terms of that. But overall, it's just like, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. And that's why it's number eight. What I'm talking is going to be about the Titan versus Shiva. Who is the better end boss? And I will say this confidently, it's Shiva. It is 100% Shiva. Titan was fun, don't get me wrong. Titan was great, I loved the theme of him, I loved the mechanics of him, I loved, as I said when I was playing how I liked the fight for Titan, I loved the rising platforms, um, I loved how he grew big and then he came small. Phase 1 was definitely not fun for me, but Phase 2 and 3 were not that bad, um, especially when you switched to melee, when I went to melee for it. Phase 3 was K-12 for me to round. Um, but in terms of who was a better boss fight, it is 100% Shiva. Shiva was just much more harder. I mean, like I said, she has mechanics that if you don't do it perfectly, you're more than likely not going to get killed. You're just going to die. And with Titan, there are many ways you recover. You could easily, I'd say someone screwed up one of the platforms, and he, the person went to the wrong, pla wrong platform at the bottom after you get risen, or uh, vice versa. Uh, just to say someone went to the wrong platform, right? And it wasn't to the part where you have to break up the um, healer jails. Even then, if someone went to the wrong platform, you can still recover from it. Um, but there are just so many points in that fight where you could easily recover if someone screwed up. With Shiva, you don't have that option. And she's just, it's way more unforgivable with Shiva than compared to Titan. You, I, I, like, every tier, the end boss gets harder, right? Titan was the very first end boss for this new tier. And he did well. I mean, it took a little while to get through in terms of progression. Um, and he was f a fun fight. But Shiva, oh man, when you think someone's harder, it's definitely Shiva. It's not Titan. It's 100% going to be Shiva. So, in terms of just difficulty and in terms of mechanics, Shiva's way better. And I think I enjoyed Shiva a lot more than Titan. But Titan was still very fun and still probably one of my favorite boss fights in terms of end boss fights in Final Fantasy. Um, I know I hear what you're to like Chapter or SF or Omega from last year, um, but I, I definitely wasn't the greatest fan of XDEF. I never did God Kafka, so I wouldn't know about Kafka. But in terms of just who's harder, it's Shiva, and I think Shiva definitely takes the win of being a better end boss. We'll see if she does uh, after we face the last boss of the next raid tier, which leads me to my next point. The last raid tier of Eden is going to be upon us in somewhere at the end of this year, probably, or beginning of this year, who knows. Um, and there have been some rumors going around about who could be the next, the last end boss. Um, if you guys don't know, most tiers uh, in Final Fantasy XIV have like a theme around it. Um, for example, Heaven's Ward has had Alexander. Um, each one was kind of like a steampunk, uh, like robot themed tier. Uh, you just faced a bunch of mechs, mainly, um, for the most part. But it was also steampunk themed. So that was just kind of like the entirety of that tier. 
with Omega, it had, like, parts where it was themed around, like, combat to certain games. And that was really fucking cool. Um, verse 2 was themed around Final Fantasy V with X-Death, with the little snake serpent thing, Hellai Tarnassus. I hated her. I actually did prod her during Savage. It was horrible. <laughs> I hate that fight. Um, and then the eyeball thingy, which was, you know, that was all from Final Fantasy Five bosses. And then the second tier for Omega was six theme. You had Kethra, you had the train. Uh, I forgot the other two boss sites for him. Um, but for that tier, but you had Kefka and, you know, you had all six Final Fantasy six bosses. And then Omega was, of course, Omega themed bosses. You faced, uh, I think you even faced him as, like, I think the one, I think tier three, uh, boss number three. Uh, for him was like him as Omega, like the Omega, like little spider or serpent thing, whatever it was. And then you faced Omega as uh, female and male, which was really cool looking, to be had. Um, and that was kind of like the, their themes in general. Uh, this one is themed around Eden, and my kind of like backwards thing is like the Final Fantasy VIII themed here. Uh, I feel like Shadowrun's kind of giving that Final Fantasy VIII themed in general, but definitely for this tier, it's definitely, uh, Final Fantasy VIII themed with Eden and Gaia, um, and how we've been restoring all of the elements to the empty, we're not done with that, right? She was the last one we need. We have, we have lightning, we have water, we have earth, we have, uh, fire and air, yeah, nice now. You know, we have all of the main elements that makes an ecosystem back. Um, and with that, we're done with the primals. Now, I'm not sure where the story's gonna head into, but a lot of rumors have come up with possibly the end boss being, um, not really Eden herself, but maybe something similar to Ultimecia. Now, I will just say this, I really hope that it will have an Ultimecia, like, kind of inspired boss. I think that'd be fucking sweet. Uh, I think that'd be icing on the cake because I, 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 I loved Ultimecia as a character and a villain in Final Fantasy VIII, and seeing her being the end boss for this tier would be great. I feel like this would be... Hands down, my favorite raid tier in Final Fantasy XIV history, if Ultimacy is the end boss. In terms of like, what could her boss possible, like, before the last boss be, I'm kind of feeling it could be more void set kind of theme bosses. Um, we're kind of seeing that already, like the darkness side of the things, with it being the void set. Uh, we saw that that tool was controlling Gaia when we first saw her in E2. I feel like that's going to be played again in the next part. Um, Void said, I really hope we don't see too many Sin Eater bosses. We might, um, but I kind of hope it's going to be Void Scent more than the Sin Eaters. I'm getting sick of the Sin Eaters, okay? I really am. Um, but seeing more Void Scent would be really, really cool. I think that'd be fantastic to see just Void Scent bosses. Um, and then maybe lead that into an Ultimecia type fight, or someone who's similar to Ultimecia, and I really Ultimecia herself. Could we could also see Eden again? I don't know. Maybe we already fought Eden once, but maybe we'll fight Eden again. Who knows? I don't know. I feel like that pro that probably be where they would go. We did a final Eden fight because maybe Eden because there's a, been like a hint that maybe Eden will take. I, Green will lose control of Eden, and Eden will go back to being destructive. So that could be it. I could be wrong. We could uh, the rumors could be wrong. You know the predictions could be wrong. But it, it could also be very likely be the last boss be actually ginormous Eden, <laughs> not like little itty bitty Eden that we fought, but Bait Eden, um, who was trying to redo all the work we just we just accomplished. Um, make sure we don't have that sheet that Eden doesn't go and destroy all the elements again um, and, and all the life we brought back to the empty but uh, I don't know I'm still more leaning towards an Ultimecia type fight but that's just kind of how I hope it would go but 
possibly could be another Eden fight. I don't know. Um, and then, you can't have a Final Fantasy XIV discussion without comparing it to World of Warcraft. He's with me. Um, I started raiding in World of Warcraft, and that's where I got my love and passion for raiding, um, and it's followed to 14. Uh, but in terms of do I prefer WoW rating to 14 rating, I prefer 14 rating 100%. Um, it's much more enjoyable. <laughs> um, I love my raid stat. I, it's definitely better to have 8 people compared to like 15 or 20 um, in a raid group. Some people will love that big raid group. I think it's just it's too big. Um, I like having 8 people in it. It's definitely much more enjoyable. Um, and then you have to wait for everybody to get like raid pods and then raid food and then travel to the instance. That was probably the worst part was just waiting. It took most of my raid groups it took like half an hour to an hour when our raid start time was like seven o'clock and we didn't start till actually eight. <laughs> it was it was annoying. I hated it. Um when turn on the bosses I don't know, it's just it's so much more enjoyable in terms of the bosses in 14 than, than in WoW. Of course you're gonna have the ones that are easy and so easy to do. Alright, the first bosses, Ramu and Eden, were super super easy. Uh, for Eden it only took my raid group like one week to do it, and then for Ramu it took us like a week and one day, <laughs> two weeks maybe kind of, but not really. It just took like one full week to prod and then we took the next, the first raid day of the next week. Um, and then we moved on. But, you know, it's the first, it's the first boss, so you kind of expect it to be easy and not too overcomplicated. Um, but when it comes to, like, WoW, it just seemed like every tier you had those first four bosses, or five, or three, depending on how many bosses are in the tier, um, they're just so simple. You just, you rival stuff in the first week, um, of actually starting the tier, and then you're on... And then people don't really get stuck on hard progression until like the fifth, the fourth, if you know it's a small raid tier like with seven bosses instead of like nine or ten. Um, and then if it's like nine or ten, you, if it's nine or ten, you get through the first four and then like number five through the rest. It's usually a little bit more challenging. Uh, and you're probably stuck on that more than likely most of the time. And I don't know, it's just. Whenever I think back to my wild days, I never really had a fight that I actually really enjoyed. Um, it just seemed like it was in, I was just going through the motions. You know, I can't recall any like, good memories from WoW that I had. Um, I think the only like decent one that I can remember was... Um, was it Legion? It was Legion, the very first tier of Legion with the Emerald Nightmare. Sonaris was the one that I remember the most. Um, I, I, I did not like the very end boss at all. I feel like, while it was still hard, I feel like Sonaris was way harder. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, it dropped the ball with that one. Um, and I remember doing Mythic, the Mythic Dragon in the first, in the Emerald Nightmare. I remember the Emerald Nightmare more because that was the, I had a really good raid group that that tier, and then that raid group just fell through the cracks. Um, I, it just, it wasn't enjoyable. I just, I don't have great memories of raid bosses like I do with this, with 14, where I can remember, you know, like, all of the fun mechanics and all the parts I hated, and and just remember progging it. It's just like, I, I don't have that. With, with WoW, it just felt like raiding for me, I was going through the motions. With 14, it feels like I'm having fun, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm and I'm re, re like just thinking about it all <laughs> and I really like it but with with that one with WoW it's just like I don't know I, I didn't I didn't enjoy it the more I think about it the more I just remember it, it's just like I, I maybe it's because I just didn't have any great raid groups maybe it's just because I was you know it's like you kind of just start going through the motions with WoW in terms of raiding but with here it's just like I don't feel like I'm going through the motions, I feel very invested in each fight. And I didn't really feel like that investment with each fight until I had the harder bosses, you know? 
That's the first, like, four bosses in each tier and doing that right off memorable. But then you get to the very last few, and you remember them, like, I do remember Sonaris. You know, he was a pain in the ass. But do I remember the one before, like, the last boss of him? I don't know, he was hard, but he wasn't that hard. I feel like we spent more time prodding on Sonaris to try and kill Sonaris than we did the very last boss. You know, it's just, and then when this one, it's like, I, I remember how long each one took, I remember, I remember each part read really, really well, and maybe it's because I just haven't read it in, in, wow, in years, but, <laughs> I don't know, even in Battle for Azeroth, I, I just didn't enjoy, I mean, in Battle for Azeroth, for the very first year, I got, we got past the last boss, we were on the Slud boss, and I didn't read it very far, so that was when I quit WoW. Again, <laughs> um, but we got through, um, I forgot what his name was, the, the one before the slug boss, the troll, I can't remember his name, <laughs> um, in the first tier for Battle for Azeroth, and I just, he was hard, but, I don't know, it just, everything just wasn't really memorable, and it just seemed like, oh, okay, we're going through another ad phase, we're going through another mechanic, it looks like this, and, with 14, you don't really have that many repeated mechanics. I mean, obviously you do, with like the, you know, like the, the circle AoEs and the cardinal positions and stuff like that. But there's more to it than just that. And each boss just turns into something way more interesting. It's like Titan, you have like rising platforms. And Shiva, you have, you know, life's rampant with all of like getting into this with at this certain formation with the lines not moving and then. You have the orbs coming past, you have to stand and stack on the little towers to make sure that didn't go off, and, I don't know, it's just, every boss is so different and memorable with WoW, it's just like, and maybe that's because we only have four bosses in a, in a tier, but, and then with, like, in, in WoW, it's like you have, like, ten, or nine, or seven, but, it's like, always the first four bosses I can't remember, and then the last boss I can, but usually when I get the last boss, Something happens to my rage every fucking time. Every time. Every time. And it's nothing with a rage just in WoW. And maybe it's because it's, it's, you know, it's bigger raid groups compared to 14 where you have a size of 8. Maybe that's why. But in terms of just, do I enjoy 14 raiding in WoW? I enjoy 14 raiding a whole much, whole much more. Whole much more. Whole much. Than I ever did in WoW. And... Maybe it's because I like the game more, and I enjoy the game more than WoW did. Who knows? But I think World of Warcraft, in terms of just rating for me, doesn't compare to 14. It really doesn't. And that's just my humble opinion. Um, I'm looking so, 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 so much forward to getting the next raid tier and progging it and just having that feel this is gonna be the first raid tier in any game that I've actually said I have raided each raid tier while it was concurrent and completed it while it was concurrent so I'm so excited for next tier it's gonna be so sentimental I'm this is gonna be if as long as nothing happens to my raid status which I don't think it will um I I will be able to confidently say that I have finally beaten a raid tier from start to finish while it was concurrent um, and beat it when it was concurrent and I think that's what I'm really excited for. I can't wait to see what the boss is going to be. I can't wait to see how the story concludes with Eden. Um, I really enjoyed the story of Eden. I can't wait to see where it goes next. Now we've brought back all the elements for the empty. So um, yeah, that's that is my opinions on the Eden tier. Uh, I want you guys to let me know what you all think of the Eden tier and what you hope to see in terms of bosses. Um, I know now we're getting to the point where it's not really predictable because we kind of knew after Titan, we knew what we were going to be facing in this tier, right? We knew we were going to be facing either Ifrit or Garuda and Shiva and Ron. I didn't really think Ron was going to be in it, but I had a feeling it was going to be Ron. We had a feeling we were going to be seeing more primals um, and, and then we were going to have like that probably that one Eden boss. Theme. It was kind of predictable when you got through it the first time, but the first tier, um, but, and then of course we had no idea what to expect during the Eden, uh, the first tier for Eden, 
But now we're going to Eden, the last two Eden, it's like, well, now we really don't know <laughs> what's, what's next. You know, like, what is next for Eden, right? And I love that the most, not knowing what's going to be next. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. Follow me on Twitch for live streams. And when Prod Bat, when we, when we of course, streaming more progression. Um, and, uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment what you think of this tier and what you hope to see for the last tier. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you in the barracks again next time. <laughs> Thank you.